Friday, November 17th, 8.45 a.m. I just, as you will have seen, poured a cup of coffee, the second one for the day, and I came downstairs to get some work done. I have got just some emails to answer, comments to go through from this week's um, regular episode that went up yesterday. And you guys, I finished my scrappy socks. Look at those, I finished them yesterday. I am so in love with these. <laughs> It really makes me just want to immediately cast on another pair, but I'm still trying to work through my works in progress. So I have two more, um, and that's it to work through. But yeah, these were so much fun. Once I picked them back up, it was just like, I couldn't put them down. So those are done. I picked up the prayer shawl. If you've watched this week's episode, you'll have seen these. Um, I showed these works in progress, but I picked up the prayer shawl to work on and I don't have that much more to do in it. So I'm hoping honestly that I could finish that today, tomorrow morning at the latest. And then I have my November yarnable socks. The shallow sock pattern is what I'm doing for those. And I showed those, I think I took a little snippet of those this morning when I was working on them. Um, so I just have those. They're just on the first sock, but I am ready for the heel on those. So that is exciting. If I finish the prayer shawl today or tomorrow morning, I'm going to cast on a plain vanilla sock just to have some on the go kind of knitting for the weekend. I can take the shallow socks. It's not a difficult pattern, but I would prefer just plain vanilla <laughs> for out and about. Um, but yeah, so today I've got, I've got to go dry my hair here shortly. Um, I'm fresh out of the shower, but I have a nail appointment in a bit. You probably saw maybe in some of my videos this morning, my nail polish chipped off. I've just been doing the gel polish um, for a little while, but I'm just going to go have them soaked off and give my nails a little bit of a break. I like to do that every like three to four times I have it done, give my nails a break to kind of heal up a bit because it is kind of damaging on your nails. So Anyways, I have that at about 11.30. I need to check the P.O. box while I'm out. I think we are just doing Chinese for dinner tonight. We're ordering Chinese. I'm excited we haven't had Chinese in a long time. So dinner sorted and will be super easy. And that's about all that's going on. So I will take you along throughout the day today. I'm going to get going on my work here so that I can hopefully, I only have a few loads of laundry to do today. Um, and then I'm hoping I will get so much making time. Let's, let's hope. We'll see what happens. <laughs> done with work finishing up my last little bit of coffee here I need to go finish drying my hair it's I've set for so long it's almost completely dry but I'm gonna go finish drying it um maybe get a little bit of knitting done or maybe I'll do some English paper piecing before I have to leave for my appointment oh and I just remembered I had a prize winner contact me so I have to package a prize so that's what I'm gonna do dry my hair package up a prize. I always do a little happy dance when prize winners contact me <laughs> and I get to send your stuff out. So I'm very excited um, to have a prize to ship out today. So I have to drop that off. I'm so glad I just remembered that. <laughs> All right, I better get moving. All right, I am finally 
finally done at the nail salon. My girl was running a little behind, so it's 12.40. My appointment was 11.30, and it only takes like, I don't know, like 20, 30 minutes. So she was running really far behind, but she's so good, so it was it was okay. Um, so yeah, got my nails all cleaned up, and I got ducked, y'all. <laughs> I was so excited when I came out. There's a Jeep parked next to me, parked next to me, and there was a little duck on my door. I didn't take a video, I forgot, but I took a picture to send to Eric, so I'll put that up there. So I gave them a little duck back. I don't have very many in my glove box, but I had a few, so I gave them one. But okay, I need to grab some lunch on the way home because I'm starving, and then head home. Probably have some laundry to switch and maybe do a little bit of English paper piecing. I can't believe it's already almost one o'clock. The day has just disappeared on me. JT has two cute little duckies now. Just two. His thing is not as full as Rosie's was, but <laughs> he's got two cute little ones. This is a terrible angle, but I didn't bring my camera up here, just my phone. I just came upstairs to put some socks away. So Eric got home before I did and he sorted all of our hand knit socks. Don't look at my basket. It's one of those collapsible ones and I've had it for so many years and it's just, it's destroyed. But yes, he sorted the entire load of socks that was in the dryer. I hate I love their hand knit, all of them. I love knitting them. I hate sorting them because I always wait until I have such a large load that then it's just so many to go through and sort them all. But yes, I do machine wash and dry all of our socks. I always get asked that. Um, they look fine. There's no issues. These are Opal or Regia or something. No issues. Uh, I've been doing it that way for quite a while. I, I don't have time with all the hand socks <laughs> that we have to hand wash them. I gave that up years ago and I was still hanging them out to dry. I don't have room for one <laughs> for the multiple drying racks I would need. Um, I could do smaller loads, but I don't know. It's fine. They've all survived. I knit us so many socks that sometimes I'm like, please, like, why do none of them have holes yet? <laughs> Let there be some holes in there so we can cycle through some socks that I have knit us. But anyways, I'm gonna get all these put away. I will show you the containers that I put them in because that is something else that I get asked is how I store our hand knit socks. I just have containers that go under our bed. They're actually ornament containers. You can usually find them at Walmart maybe around this time of year, all the holiday stuff is out. Um, I know if you can catch them after Christmas, if they still have some left, they are usually heavily discounted. So there's that, but all right, let's get these put away. Fun. I decided since I'm recording a vlog today, let's count all of the socks that I have and how many Eric has. So mine, my original count was 147, but then there were a few stuck, or I think 145 actually. There were a few stuck in with Eric's still in the basket that I had missed. So it went up to 147. Then I found a few more in the office when I came down here. So it went to 149. And then I remembered that there was a pair in the laundry hamper that did not get washed. So I have 150 pairs of hand knit socks. That's insane. <laughs> Eric has, let me see. I can't remember now off the top of my head. Eric has 51 and I have 150. I should probably knit him some more socks. <laughs> But yes, that was fun. I haven't counted my socks in forever. And I 
got rid of, gosh, this was probably a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. I got rid of so many hand knit socks, um, gifted some, donated some. I, I had so many and I had realized throughout like the years I'd been knitting socks that afterthought heels do not fit me, but I loved doing them. So I was still making them for myself while realizing they don't fit. Um, so yeah, all of those, I got rid of them and there was probably, I don't even know. I was, I'm going to say at least 50 is going to be like my guess, um, pairs of hand knit socks that I got rid of. So that was a couple of years ago. Um, yeah. And I don't have any regrets about doing it. They didn't fit me. I wasn't wearing them and it freed up so much space for all of these new hand knit socks that I've made because I just cannot stop making them. And I have no intentions to, but I do think maybe I should make Eric some more. <laughs> maybe I'll make some more for some friends too. I'm hoping Kaylee's going to love those gray socks on Saturday if we see them. Um, if not, I think we're going to see them on Thanksgiving. So whenever I get to give them to her, I'm hoping she will love them. And I'm going to have her pick out a skein of yarn for another pair to make her. But okay, I'm going to go English paper piece for a bit. It is already two o'clock. The kids will be home in about an hour. So I'm an English paper piece. I brought my iPad down to find something on the YouTubes to watch. Do a little bit of that and then go work on the prayer shawl. I need to measure it again. Yesterday I was at 52 inches and the pattern calls for 60. I might do it a little bit longer. And I'm thinking this is going to be a gift for my grandma. I know she watches some videos, so she may see this. If you see this, grand, you're, you're getting this shawl as a gift. <laughs> but I think it's going to be for her. So um, I want to make sure that I'm really happy with the length. So I'm kind of going by their 60 inches that they call for, but I may adjust that. I'm going to try it on myself and see what I think and go from there. But anyways, I'm going to do that before I sit down to work on it so that I can see where I'm at, how much progress I made from yesterday, from the 52 inches that I was at then. Saturday. I recorded a little bit more yesterday, but I thought I would hop on here and 
just kind of update you on a few of the projects that I was working on. So I did finish off the prayer shawl. It ended up, I tried it on and I think it's the perfect length um, to give to my grandma. So that I, I finished off, I wove all the ends in. I will show it in all its full glory on the next podcast episode, which I was planning out my next week in my planner. Um, and since I normally put the podcast up on Thursday and this Thursday is Thanksgiving, I am planning on putting the podcast up on Friday. That's the plan. I may get it done and put it up on Wednesday. Maybe I'll edit it all in one day and it'll go up a day early, but I think it'll end up being a day late because I normally edit it and upload it on Thursdays with that being a holiday. I'm not going to be working on that day. So just so you guys know what the, the plan is for the week, but I am working away on my shallow socks. I'm still planning on these being a gift for Eric, my husband, and I am that far past the heel. His foot is longer than mine, so I've still got a good bit to go, but I'm still really loving them. Loving the pattern in this yarn. If you have not knit the shallow socks, I definitely recommend it. And I'm hoping to get these done I had kind of thought maybe they would be done this weekend, but I don't think they will be, especially since they're for him and they take just a little bit longer to knit. I definitely don't think these will be done this weekend, but they should be done by the end of next week at the latest. What else? There was something else I was going to say about these, I thought. I can't remember what it was though, but I worked on these for a bit this morning while I had some coffee and I decided if you watched the hello november vlog this is one of the the projects i got ready and have not cast on yet um this is gnome acres peppermint mocha they no longer dye yarn but this is their peppermint mocha colorway and i I'm going to cast this on this morning because while the shallow socks is not a difficult pattern to do at all, I do not have to look at the pattern. It's easy to memorize um, and read my knitting and see where I am. So it's not that, but if I am out on the go, if we are in the car or we're out having dinner or a lot of the times on Saturdays we'll have dinner with friends. So if we're doing that, I do not want to have to be looking at my knitting as often as I do with a pattern to just double check which row I'm on because if I'm talking I'm going going to forget and have to glance down more often. So I want a vanilla sock that I can just autopilot on. So I'm hoping to get this cast on and get the cuff done so that I'm ready to go for the leg for anywhere that we may go this weekend or just in the car knitting. Um, I know we have some errands to run today and church tomorrow so this will be great to have ready to go but right now before I cast this on I only have one work in progress the shallow socks so that feels very nice <laughs> I am really hoping to keep it at the two projects for a little while anyways um, but I think I always do need to have a vanilla sock on the go as one of those two projects when at all possible <laughs> because I do need that vanilla knitting, especially on the weekends. Um, during the week, it's not as bad. Honestly, I don't really, I, you know, I work from home, so doing this and um, so it's not like I need on the go knitting that often, but yeah, for the weekends, I definitely need a vanilla sock. So I'm gonna cast that on today. I'm thinking these are gonna be for Eric as well. I might change my mind, but I think that he would like these also, so these might be for him. Okay, I think that's all I have to share. I am going to get working on editing this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am doing a few more vlogs than, I mean, I don't normally always do day in the life vlogs, but I'm trying to do a few more of them this month to get back in practice, back in the swing of things for Vlogmas, which starts so soon. I cannot believe today is the 18th of November. But all right, I hope that you guys have a good weekend and I will see you soon.